But right now, what matters is these two drivers at the front of the field, Roadster Racing and Team Fordzilla, as we get ready to go racing, all eyes look to Barney the Flagman. There goes the green. We are racing here at Imola as they get underway. Already trying to be aggressive coming up to the inside. That's Roadster Racing looking at the outside. A little bit of contact there between Power and Radio Racing and Roadster Racing, but they're able to keep things together. And it looks like the majority of the GT3 field is able to get through Tamarello cleanly. Unfortunately, we do have a car spinning. Yeah, a little bit of contact there with that yellow Mercedes, and that's going to send them spinning around. Sanchez already right up behind him, and he's even going to be going for a little bit of a move here as they climb the hill toward Alta. It's almost three wide. It was three wide for a second, two wide going into Alta. Was there a little bit of door banging there in between the two? Stepanov is going to be able to stay ahead, but Sanchez clearly declaring his intentions early. Like here, oh, some contact there, and that's the 202 getting way off into the gravel there. That is the MTS GRG machine. They are going to have to try to be able to get their way around to work. Oh, contact! Big incident! It's a little bit on the racing line at a blind corner here. That caused a spin. There you can see the damage to Callum Dunn's machine there in the Alpha Esports Academy, number 177. BMW versus Mercedes. They're going to have to go the long way around Tamarello, but they're going to be banking on the fact that they've got the draft here, or had the draft, to be able to give them a little bit of overspeed. Let's see if Tramos is able to do this. It's a battle of the late breakers coming down into the first part of the corner. Oh, hopping over the curbs. Shades of Hamilton and Verstappen down into Tamarello. Take another look here on board with Dukovskis. They're going to try to make a way through. <laughs> that was a little bit of a narrow wiggle there with some GT4 traffic. Five. And here we've got a move for the lead in GT4. That's going to be a great run off of Variante Alta for 50-50 racing. They're going to have the inside line right now on Dilettante. And now it's going to switch to the outside line. They're going to have to carry momentum here coming down through Rivazzo 1. We've got a yellow, yellow flag out on track. This is for Porsche Club Lithuania. They are stopped out on the circuit. And the way that car is going, Joe, I almost want to say that that could have run out of fuel. As everybody is now trying to sort themselves out into the order that they want to be in. Who's going to be fastest? Who's going to be not? This is absolute pandemonium. Here we go, Fordzilla with a bit of a hard dive, but it pays off. They're now your new leader. There's a little bit of how you do and just getting in the way. Oh my goodness, the 111 getting very squirrely, and I think that was contact there with 100 forces. In fact, we might want to look at, oh no, a spin. The number 10 just got turned around and into the wall. And it looks like here at this point that Jack Ash is straight about trying to make a move around the outside of Piratella. Is that going to work or is that going to come to tears? He's going to get forced off wide, but he's going to keep his foot in it. Talk about bravery from Jack Ashton. Four leaders, oh my goodness, Shipsy off 
Off into the gravel there, Shipsy has had a big coming together. I mean, Shipsy pulled a, a NASCAR move there. They basically rode the wall, and I think they got away with very little damage from it. But that's going to be of no concern to Team Fortilla 66 as they come out of the final corner and take victory here. And with that, officially, they are the GT3 Pro Champion. That is exactly the kind of racing you want to see here when you come to see GT Racing.